New Orleans is one of the first cities in the country to get new technology to treat prostate cancer, and it's said to have fewer side effects, too. Yeah, medical reporter Meg Ferris talked to the first two men in the region to have the treatment, and she shows us how it works. Ricky Gibbs and Zach Rahman are meeting for the first time, yet the two 69-year-old men already have a strong personal bond. You see, not long ago, Zach got lucky. While having an MRI for another medical issue, prostate cancer was found early. It was devastating. My wife and my daughter, and they both broke down crying, you know. I mean, it, was, it broke the heart. While Zach was doing research on which treatment he wanted, Tulane urologic oncologist Dr. Spencer Crane put him in touch with Ricky. He was the very first person in the area to have a new prostate cancer treatment with the nano knife. It was so much of a better alternative compared to what I would have to go through under surgery or radiation treatments. And, um, and they also told me that if it didn't work out, I still had all the other options available to me. The nano knife is unlike any other prostate treatment. Using IRE technology in an outpatient procedure in the OR, Dr. Crane inserts four tiny probes in the prostate gland. He is guided by ultrasound and an MRI to spot where the cancer is. Then electricity is used to kill the cancer cells, sparing the healthy tissue. This also spares the nerves that are just millimeters away that control erections and urinary function. A lot of patients don't even go get screened for prostate cancer because they say, well, my cousin got screened for prostate cancer, they took out his prostate and now he leaks urine and he doesn't have erections and his life's gone to hell. RE was just like a blessing. I thank the Lord every day I came here and found out about it uh, because it gave me that chance to avoid all that and get rid of my cancer. Treating the cancer, preserving those male functions, and talking to Ricky about his experience gave Zach the confidence to be the second person in this region to have the nano knife procedure. If you live and you have no quality of life, that's no good. So this has been, uh, like I said, it's been a miraculous uh, cure. Dr. Crane says the surgery, recovery, and time using a catheter are shorter than other procedures and that worked well for Ricky. I got a text message from Ricky four days afterwards with no catheter and smiling on the beach in shorts. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. The nano knife is only for men at intermediate risk and whose cancer has not spread outside of the prostate. A clinical trial is opening a two lane right now and to see if you qualify, we have the number on our website, wwltv.com.